Sagittarius, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading, love. Sagittarius Sun, Moon Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a node, it doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch, I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments, okay? Love you. Sagittarius, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. If you found this message or this message found you, then there's something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. There's no gender here. You're going to hear me use the terms he, she, they, them, it, her, him, heifer. Just take it how it resonates and remember roles can always be reversed. I thank you. Likes, shares, uh, comments, emails, love tokens, donations. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And thank you again. Okay, let's just jump right in. Sagittarius, basically, this energy feels like you can't be serious. Or this can't be true. Or this can't be normal. You know what I mean? And um, my answer to those questions or those statements are, is rather, how was that any different from any other day in your life? Lately, anyway, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, and I stand by that. How was this any different? How was this any different from any other day in your life? You know, it, 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 just lately. I know it, we, you can go back, and I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about these last whew, year or two. I ain't going to lie, but these last three to six months, God darn. I mean, seriously, I'm with you, okay? I pulled um, Oracles of the Seven Energies for you. We were talking before about energy of... Um, Releasing energy of moving forward, energy of pain, uh, transition, things like that. Uh, this is, first of all, all spiritual energy, heavy, heavy emphasis on divine intervention. Um, number 45, you have here beyond the ordinary. Because this ain't normal. You're right. It's beyond normal. It's beyond ordinary. But for you, it's exactly what it's supposed to be, regardless of whether you not you understand it. Okay. Broken open, number 28. It hurts. Realization hurts. It does. It's it's if like you have a um um a splinter. You have a splinter, but it's so deep inside that I think you got used to the pain and just dealt with it. And now for whatever reason, it the opening is exposed and not only did you have to get cut to get to the splinter you got they got to dig in to get it out so it's like pain on top of pain you understand what i'm saying the beauty of this is once the splinter is out you say okay that's what that was that was causing that pain you know what i mean um you know what it is you got you took care of it and now you're free from it because the the splinter might have been made of a, a metal that didn't allow you to go through the metal detector without it going off. And now you can go through with the sacred reverence at the bottom of the deck, the reveal. Okay, the reveal. You're going to see the splinter. You're going to see what it's made of. You're going to understand where it came from. You're going to understand why it's been there for so long. Just uh, reveal. Everything is just coming to the surface. It is. And I can't imagine walking in your shoes right now, but what I can tell you is that this energy right now has me full emotionally. I am full. You understand me? And I said it before, and I extend my arms to you again. I wish I could just hug you out of this. I wish I could. Let's see what we can get from Secret. Maybe we can get some more information, details, guidance on this process because this cycle is just a humdinger. My Lord. Center energy, please, for Sagittarius. 
Eight of Wands. Okay, communication, travel, um, fire energy. I like it. Coming in quick, too. Crowning energy, please. Crowning energy. Four of Wands, Nine of Cups. Hello. I love that. Pull down from that. Crowning you is everything you want, everything you need, and balance. Most importantly, balance. I love the Four of Wands. I do have to say that uh, it speaks about um, commitment. It speaks about uh, in love, maybe moving in together or, or um, proposals, things like that. Um, happy times, celebrated times, okay? Um, for me, this feels like balance, okay? Almost as if you're going to get a divine message of, look, everything you need, want, and desire, you have access to. All you have to do is get it. You understand what I'm saying? What's undermining the energy, please, for Sagittarius? Thank you. Wow. You're just not feeling like yourself, my love. Temperance in reverse. That's your energy. You feel imbalanced. How are you talking about balance? This is like you saying to me, green eyes, what are you talking about? You just now really tapped into my energy. You know what's going on in my life. And then you're going to just tell me, oh, I got everything I want. I could just have balance anytime I want. Yup. Yup. That's what I'm saying. Yep. We talking. And I know who I'm talking to. So I know that's what you're saying. Yeah, we talking. You want it? How you been getting that stuff with nothing stopping you? That's how you been getting it without paying no mind to nothing else about but what you wanted, what you was going after. That's how you was getting it. You were humble before the divine. You were appreciative divine timing. Now, all of a sudden, you can't wait or it's not soon enough or it's not good enough. Come on, Sag, we talking. Something's going on where though you don't feel like yourself. Well, you don't feel like yourself because God is working with you and pulling some things out of you that probably you have disregarded. That's how I feel. Okay? That's how I feel. But I think it is for your betterment. I think it is for your good. And I think it is for his glory. So you got to go through some stuff. That's all. Buck it up. Past energy. Be you, Sag. You the toughest one on the block, and I know it. I don't, I, and ain't no way in the world I'm sitting here doing your read and get ready to cry like that. I had to get myself together. Because we talking. You know what I'm saying? But I know this is how you feel in private. Maybe to the world, you still that tough exterior but I know that's how you feel in private. And I'm saying in private, pull down from that strength that you know that you can handle this. That's what I'm saying. Regardless, I don't care how embarrassing it is for you, how if it's pulling out something, you I, I don't give a hoot and hot nanny. You're coming from an energy of feeling a loss, big time loss financially. I ain't going to lie. King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles reverse. You feel like you wasted time, wasted life. I ain't going to lie. Not I wasted my time. I wasted life. I wasted energy. I wasted youth. The divine message is in the center. This may be it. Where's this going for Sag, please? Where's this going? God. Hmm. I know who I'm talking to. Yeah. Yeah, I know who I'm talking to. Now, that's how we talk. When I talk to Sag, that's what we talk about. We talk about the coin. Okay? Divine intervention. Divine gift. The, for your endurance. For your obedience. For making it through. For holding on. Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. For holding on. Because I know right now, probably right before you heard this video, that you might have felt like, I can't take no more. And I'm telling you, you can. You can. You're feeling a little out of whack right now. 
And because you're feeling out of whack, you're feeling unbalanced, you're feeling like you're not yourself, you're feeling like you're not healed from things that happened seven lives ago, you understand that you feel like you're dealing with all seven uh, uh, lives at one time, and like that's how heavy this thing is coming in. Yeah, it hurts. But the reward is freedom and peace. And, uh, you know, also more divine communication, divine information with the Ace of Pentacles. Make no mistake, value holds not a uh, value of, of abundance. It doesn't just hold value that is tangible. You understand what I'm saying? The value of the Ace of Pentacles is the value of abundance. Abundance can come in with knowledge and peace. Ooh, Sagittarius, y'all not going to get me started in here today. You got me 10 of cups right under that. Come on if you coming. Come on, ain't nobody scared here. Yes, Sag. Yes, my love. <laughs> That's how we do that. We're going to talk our way right through this situation. And you coming out pretty on the other side. You understand me? Yes, my loves. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. See, Divine got something for you. Yeah, baby. You got you a little popsicle or taffy when you leave the dentist's office. You know, you get a little treat. <laughs> you just got to get some work done. That's all. But you're going to leave pretty. You're going to leave this thing pretty. Uh, you know what? As long as you get what you're supposed to get out of this process, you're going to leave pretty. Now, what you're supposed to get, to be honest, it feels like get out of you. Not that you're supposed to get something. It's like something's supposed to come out of you. That's how this feels. I ain't going to lie. Let's talk about where this began. Keaton of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Reverse, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. For Sagittarius, Six of Wands. I love it. I, You know what? That's what I'm talking about. Sag, see, you don't let... Ain't nobody taking my pride. Nobody's going to slow me down. Oh, no. Come on, Sag. It came right through. Y'all keep it mother-loving moving. Seven of Cups in a tower. And it was confusing when this tower fell. You ain't know what the heck happened. It was like everything was great. Everything was perfect. And then all of a sudden, whoosh. The dominoes fell. You know what I'm saying? The dominoes fell. But you still did it pretty. You still came out on top. And then it's like, uh, okay, all right, I can handle this. But it seems like that period lasted a whole lot longer than you expected. And then other things started happening in the duration of. You understand what I'm saying? Current energy, eight of wands, Sagittarius, divine message, travel, Mm, coming and going, I'm hearing. Coming and going, coming and going. Magician energy, manifestation, Aries, uh, Aquarian energy. Tell me more. You're manifesting answers, Ten of Wands, on how to get through this, how to get past, how to get over, how to carry the load, how to get over the heartbreak, Three of Swords, Air energy. Tell me more about the Magician Okay, we have an emperor here reverse. Aries, Taurian energy. How to how do I not how do I not? Hmm. Hold on. Cause it's more about control here. It's almost as if you're saying that how do I not? Somebody's a control. What is it? OCD? You're you're struggling with. Somebody's struggling with OCD really, really, really bad. And because of this period of disarray, you feel like you're going crazy. Um, you're not, okay? It's a spiritual process right now. I know you're dealing with something in the physical world or a mental disability, which is o what OCD is, uh, uh, a mental situation, let's call it, because I don't like to call it disabilities. Um, so let's say mental situation, you know, um, that's in your head. So you're trying to figure out a way or get different, uh, yeah, do different things. Let's say it like that. Do different things to help you with control issues. Others of you, it's not an OCD. It's just an issue of control. You know, you have control issues, period. I understand. Uh, and you're working your way through that because you feel that that has always had an effect on, um, some of the downfalls of emotional connections in your life. You know what I mean? This issue or need for power, this need for control, this need uh, to be, you know what I mean? It's like, you don't feel like you, you're being like that, but if everybody else is saying it, now you're really having to face it, okay? Uh, Four of Wands, Nine of Cups, Crowning Energy for Sagittarius, 
and we have the nine of swords yeah my love all right so we definitely got two nines here emotional and mental seven of wands um emotional and mental um uh energies i want to say okay uh, i do want to say that i think that you know how can i say this you know i i, I just think that my, my focus is on this i want to show you do you see all the birds now the birds represent like um bickering you know uh headaches uh sweats um you know uh anxiety things like that it's kind of just chaos but there's one white one you see that one white bird because god is still god no matter what's going on in your life god is still god it's for a reason and don't think that if, if it's the worst place in your life that he's not there with you that's how that feels to me okay he is always with you stand on that stand seven of wands you know this you just right now, like, what's the point? What's why? Why? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I got you. I'm what you said. So tell me more about the, uh, thank you. Four of wands here. Four of wands there. Balance. You just want to be, all, all I want to do is be right, have right, get right, party right, rest right, work right, live right. Why can't that just be, why can't we got to be all this mess? I want the right things. I'm doing the right things to get the right things, but the right things aren't happening or haven't happened in the past. So what am I doing wrong? The answers are coming through, but unfortunately, like I said, removing the splinter because it's so deep. I don't think you realize, number one, like I said, what was causing the pain. And when it does come out, it's going to be like, oh, wow, really? Really? And everything, body splinter is just different. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about Sagittarius in the reverse. Queen of Cups reverse. It could be mother issues. It could be um, always feeling misunderstood, feeling um, unloved, uh, feeling that your love was um, uh, abused. I ain't going to lie. Um, some of you honestly even felt like like your prayers weren't heard. I ain't going to lie. We talking, Sag. You know we talking. It's between us, okay? It's almost as if like some of you felt like like God wasn't listening. You know what I mean? With this Queen of Cups reverse, that's how this feels. And um, Temperance reverse. Yeah, um, that's Nine of Cups reverse here. It's like no matter what you did, no matter how you cried, it just... You, you spoke and it, 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 it just, it's like you were talking to the wall and, and you would work and it was be, it, you felt like it was in vain. You know, uh, it, it was like, you felt like you were doing everything that you were supposed to do and never getting the correct result. You know what I mean? Let me get one more undermining said. So we have a full understanding high priestess and the mother loving upright. Ooh, almost we're talking about Pisces energy here. We're talking about intuition. We're talking about knowing things without saying them, which is your forte. OK, usually when by the time you start talking, you have the whole story front to back, side to side and details. OK, but, you know, in this energy here, it's uh, it, everything everything that you felt was so empowering in your personality and character just seems to be out of whack right now even your intuitive abilities like it's you can't tell whether or not it's your intuition or are you having a moment you know what i'm saying is it your intuition or are you having a moment all because you're out of balance because you're not yourself right now because god is working with you so how do you get back to that you be you and let God be God and try to persevere through this process and get out of you what he's getting out of you because he's digging. This thing is so, it's like I can see the, the like somebody going like this inside of flesh. You understand? I can literally see a cut open and digging into the flesh. It's deep. I don't know what this is. And for everyone, it's different. And I hope for, um, uh, all of you not to even resonate with this energy because I don't want you to go through this. But if you're going through this, I'm hoping that this is helping you. Okay. Future energy. Ace of Pentacles, Sagittarius. Future, future energy. Ace of Pentacles, please. Sagittarius. Thank you. 
Two of Cups, I like, and Death and Rebirth. If you come and come on. Some of you will be connecting with a Scorpio. Um, definitely Scorpio energy here with the Two of Cups and Death and Rebirth. Uh, some of you will be... I want to say... <laughs> being introduced and to the new you. It's almost as if like... Once this process is complete, I'm smiling right now. I'm telling you, if you can hear it in my voice, it's like, you know, Sag, this is Sag. Say bye to Sag. You know, say hi. Okay, say bye. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how this feels. And I know that sounds as corny as ever, but this is literally how it feels. It's almost as if, like, the divine is going to be the interaction of your ancestors, your angels, just introducing you to your new you, and then you saying bye to the old you. You know what I mean? And, oh, my God, how beautiful is that? I am so freaking excited. Future energy, please. Oh, with the mother-loving ten of pentacles. <laughs> yes, baby. See, and that's how the foundation is reset. You know what I'm saying? Realization is made. Connections are um, made. Also, friends and family. It's a new view. It's a new understanding. And I know you feel like it's everybody else, but before God will work on them, he'll work on you. When you pray about somebody else, that's how this works. I'm trying to tell you. Call them. That's what he told me. Because I was calling on everybody. I, JC, look, let me tell you what such and such did. They did this, they did that, did they did this. And I didn't even do that. I did. You know what? God started working on me. I had to work on me, you know? And then he started working on, because that's when karma comes around. You know, God is still in, in charge, all right? He's still in charge. But an Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, yes, I do have to say the coin is looking absolutely lovely. And you plan on holding on to every dime. <laughs> Let me get one more on the future for Sag, please. <laughs> Knight of Cups here. Um, yes, definitely. I love I love the energy because it's um, for some new love, for some new you, uh, for others, uh, a renewed family connections, you know, things like that. So just positive all the way around in the future energy. Let's get through this. It happened because of whatever, whenever, and however, but it's in the past. Let's get through this process of growth and development so that we can be introduced to this rebirth Ow. Go ahead, Sag, with your sexy behind. Look at that King of Wands there. Oh, and the sun. Oh, Leo energy is heavy. Yeah, I love the new love. Whoever getting a new boo, see if he got a brother. Tell him to call me. <laughs> Sag, I love y'all so much. Yes, I hope this helps, okay? If any event, none of this resonates, it's okay. Check out your moon rising. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. I ain't gonna lie. Please subscribe so that you're notified of future readings. And remember... We're all perfectly imperfect, guys. Talk to you next time. Bye.